missile in the air. Yeah, I see that sucker. Multiple missiles coming. Do something. I don't think we can beat this. It's half a mile, quarter of a mile. Hello, value viewers. I hope you're all doing wonderfully well. Today we had something else banned, something that is not this uh, big war game. But Simba suddenly said, Hey guys, I bet you couldn't do um, this mission that I've been trying to do, where we have to travel 200 miles on the Syria map against 100 different assorted types of SAM site. We start there, 100 SAM sites later, we arrive over there. So basically, a glorified SAM run. He says it's basically impossible, but he has done it once. Um, and so we said, well, yeah, obviously, that's a red flag to a bull. We're going to try it. So today we're going to try it. I'm having some problems at the moment, some tech problems, so I'm going to have to be in the back. Simba's going to be flying this F-15, and Dark's going to be tagging along, and I guess we're just going to try it and see what happens. Simba, um, anything to say before we go? I know we've got some steer points to roughly follow, but um, any advice for Dark? Just try to relax. Don't let your butthole get too tight, and uh, try to keep up. This is excellent advice. Right, off we go, Simba Wimba. I just heard speed and power. I believe speed and power, Dark. I like being shuttled about. Well, you gotta be careful. It is a rather lengthy flight, so you can't just be in burner and try to outrun everything the entire way. Roger. Whee! Viewers, you can track our progress on the TSD or whatever the hell it's called on this aircraft. I can't keep up. Um, we can look at SAM threats here but mainly we're going to be using our eyes. So we're going to kick out here to the right and get behind this mound because we know there's some SAM sites on that ridge above us that are already painting us. Yeah, you notice that. Make a, about a 270 degree turn. Now then part of the reason why I have these SAM sites up on these ridges, uh, and a lot of them are kind of tilted down a little bit, kind of prevents you from being able to do the 50 foot off the deck mm. and not get shot at. I was really just shot at. Low altitude. Low altitude. Right, so we're going back over the base where we started uh, and that will start the canyon run, I guess. Yep, uh, the big thing is trying to use as much terrain as possible. I did place SAM sites that would force you into various parts of the terrain. Because if you just try to stay low and fly at them, they will hit you. Oh, Joe, this is just good general evasion practice, but looks a bit so right. So we've got steer point one, steer point two there, and then steer point three and four is where we're getting to. Okay, let's go into the canyon as we go. It's one of those things where I'm probably end up getting shot or dying like halfway through and then I'll spend like my whole weekend trying to get through huh. this. It's like that video game that you can get to the very end but can't beat. Well we can swap if you want Dark because I have to spend my whole weekend week of wake wiping my baby's butt spike. SA10 12 and 1 o'clock. <laughs> Fixed it viewers. Little Simba Wimber's head in the front viewers wiggling about trying to navigate these canyons. Where's Dark? There's Dark. Can you keep up okay, Dark? Yeah. Watch out. Oh, I should notice we're heavily loaded as well, viewers, just to make it a bit more hard. You can see we've got a full rack of bombs and fuel. You have to do fun things when you get to the target, actually. So, to turn the last SAM sites off, there was a trigger of you have to blow up a couple of uh, fuel trucks that are on top of the dam at the lake north of Vincer Lake. Now here's going to be a fun part cap. Mm. We're going to roll over in one of those SAM sites that was targeting us. Oh right there, hello. Well, well within minimum range, but we are getting spiked now. Progress, we have gone approximately 3%. But we're alive! Where's Dark? Oh, Dark's lost. Got it. 
I lost the missile. No, okay. I'm not lost. Did you? Right behind you. Just having a sparingly used burner. It's at 12 o'clock at the moment. Yep, this valley should shield us for a little bit. Great visibility in this plane, viewers. You still got this dark? Oh yeah, I'll see him. Now then, this is a narrow canyon, so flying too fast is not really good for the airframe. Hmm. You know what else isn't good for the airframe? Uh, friggin' more ah. <laughs> I'm not ready, guys. Lovely bit of cover. No go, it's just all circles that we're in. Watch out, uh, I've got a good map in here. Uh, right, we are. We're at steer point one. We've reached steer point one. And we're alive. I'm aware Almost. It's, it's going to get harder, but. Great roads around here, guys. Alright, this is where it starts to get spicy again. We're gonna hit this peninsula, which is waypoint one. And uh, people are gonna wanna shoot at us. Huh. Yep. 90 left. Here we go. SA-10's all over us, all directions. Nice. Oop, missile off me. Yep, 100% okay. missiles oh, coming up. Lost a move. I know what we should have done. We should have put the scoreboard on to see how many missiles fire up. Never mind. So, this part of the map is a little bit fun, but we're going to come up on a large valley that I have some SAM sites placed on the other side of the valley so the only way to survive it is to cross the valley turn right there's a it feels like a ditch on this map but essentially you have to cross it at a ditch all sorts of missiles being shot behind us but we survived don't worry too much dark, just follow your waypoint chain. It's going to get more and more difficult. Alright, they're going to be coming from our left. Oh, this is horribly open. Yep, radiation. Nine o'clock. You alive, Doc? Yes. Being fired at. Ah, oh, I found this. Um... All right, here's the mad scramble across the deck. It turns all around us and they can all see us. Past that massive canyon. Oh, that ain't good. Oh dear. Right, there's a missile on our six. 
don't know how we're going to get rid of it. Oh no, we're in the open Simba. There's a missile on a six coming down. Yes! Nice. Oh. You out, Doc? Yeah, I tried to look at the map and yeah, figure out I get where it. I was going. Never mind. You I can was watch. in the right direction, too. Pull out our missiles would be really useful. Yeah. So this is a little bit of a boring part of the map because it's just big flat terrain so I didn't put the stamp sites too close to you just enough to paint you and make you want to get low spike 8 o'clock visual S300 site they're all sitting on little mounds right Halfway there, pretty much. Woo -woo. Now look at that view, this is the edge of the map. The edge of the world. The world is flat. Oh, it's still modeled over there. <laughs> In fact, as we proved on that, uh, where we got a plane to go map, 500, that entire globe is technically modelled, every country, just not in high detail. The real question is where in the world do we go to bomb? Mm. Or do we fly around the world? New longest bombing trip? <laughs> this mountain range is out in front of us, Cap. Mm. Uh, when we get up here, it's when we're going to kind of turn right more towards uh, the waypoint. There's a couple of SAM sites that we'll be flying towards, so we kind of have to zigzag across the mountain ridge to survive. Watch out. And we'll know if we went too far, because then we really w will be where the map isn't modeled anymore. I think things are about to get spicy. Yep, new radiation coming up. Say 10 on the nose times two. Yeah. Approaching step by two. Some sites. Swap some sites on top of some hills. I was going to tell you you had sights at like 2, 10, but then I realized there's sights pretty much the whole way around. Watch out. Yeah, this way points off a little bit. Watch out. Right, turning into step point uh, 3. SA-10 ahead. Many all. Yeah, that ridge line that's off our nose to the right is the one that we really wanted to follow. And we'll know the place to turn because this creek that we're passing over is going to turn to the right into that, that valley that we can see off our nose. 
Yep. And we'll just follow that creek and a uh, railroad. Yep, got it on the map. Yep, coming along to the right. Cap, there is a shortcut coming up. Oh, job. <laughs> Don't be scared. So, rather than going around this mountain that's off our nose, Cap, mm -hmm. we're just going to cut through it. Oh, I see. Wow, that's a real gap. Look at that. Um, wow, that's amazing. Woohoo! And it's been there the entire time we've had the Syria map. There's one steep crevasse, guys. Oh, there's another one, look. It's weird, yep. it's like it's a line drawn right through the map. I think it happened when they drew the road. How about that? It works for us, guys. Just don't get your wings off. Now you get to practice your knife edge. Mm. <laughs> All right, Cap. This is the part where I tell you don't look back. All right. I'll try not to. Hmm. Visual S three hundred side. Uh, on our six firing up. Bike. Missile in the air. Shit. Yeah, I see that sucker. Multiple missiles coming. Do something. I've 100% found us. I don't think we can beat this. It's half a mile, quarter of a mile. We're dead. Ah, damn it. Boom. In the face. How far did we get? 90%. It was 95% so there. If we'd have only just got over that thing, viewers, another quarter of a mile, if that, we would have got over there into it and then I think yeah I can see the target right there ah very good all right <laughs> well we did very well anyway getting that far using the terrain and stuff like that but man that's uh that's a hard one I hope you enjoyed the ride viewers bye bye